Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to create a custom starter with the Spring Boot. Uh, in order to create a custom starter, you need a Spring Boot uh, as the default project. So you have the two ways. Either you can use a start.spring.io to create your uh, your project structure or your package structure, or you can use any of uh, your preferred uh, uh, editor to create that one. So for, for this demonstration, I have used start.spring.io to create that project. I have already downloaded it, and I have already imported that project into my IntelliJ. So I'm not going to cover how you can uh, perform these steps. You can just refer to any of the online videos for that one. So let's check quickly check our uh, our pom.xml file which is going to be the central uh, kind of uh, starting point for us so we have uh, if you see we have not uh, defined any of the other additional uh, dependencies because this is just a starter this is a custom starter we will define some additional dependencies uh, some of the other elements of the spring boot in our main demo application all right uh, only few things if you see the parent is the spring boot uh, starter parent so this gives this uh, custom starter all the predefined dependencies which are required to create a custom starter and then this is auto configuration which gives some of the auto configuration facet, uh, features we will uh, see uh, we will uh, we will check on this one how they will help us uh, during this uh, demonstration right so just to demonstrate how to create a custom starter we are going to create a very simple custom starter uh, i'm not going to get into the complex one so it will be a single uh, package or the module which is going to create two things for a custom starter it is going to create it, it's going to have the auto configuration class as well as it's going to have the our pom.xml which is responsible to fetch all the dependencies so if you go into any of the typical uh, starters being provided by the spring boot or are available for other of the open source projects most of the time it's a combination of two modules one is a auto configuration which have all the information what are my auto configuration classes what are the default configurations or settings and then there is a starter starter is nothing but an empty jar file which only contains all the required dependencies to club together your configurations okay right for this video, we will be clubbing the auto configuration class as well as your pom.xml file uh, into a single uh, module. So we just covered our pom.xml file. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I will be creating a quick, uh, let's say we will call it as a hello service. Uh, this service is going to be a very simple service. Uh, it will just print a message onto the console saying, okay, uh, hello uh, user or we we, we can uh, create that message right and then there will be auto configuration class which will uh, if our hello service is into the class path it will automatically load that module and then if the our hello service bean is not present into the class path or there is no custom implementation for the hello uh, hello service uh, bean it will create that default bean uh, for us uh, so that we can use it the moment someone some developer or our application where we are going to use this starter define the custom bean the default implementation will no longer be available so it give it will give all the control to you so you can work you can play around with it you can create your own bean so let's start and what i'm going to do is I will be creating let's say a package service I am going to create an interface okay we will call this interface as a hello service okay and this interface is going to have a very sorry say hello okay and then I am going to create an hello service impl which is going to print our hello message okay so i'm going to implement a hello service okay all right come on okay all right 
and we are going to add a simple system dot out okay hello from the default default starter hello service all right that's all so this is our uh, hello world uh, maybe a hello service right the next part of our application is where we are going to create our configuration uh, or you call a auto configuration class okay so i created a package and i'm going to call it as a hello service let's see auto configuration okay all right so we need to define couple of uh, different things for this one okay let's start i'm going to define this as a configuration class right the next one is i'm going to say condition on class which is hello service dot class so what does this mean is that this auto configuration will only be will only come into the picture when the hello service is present into the class path okay if hello service is not into the class path spring boot is not going to load that uh, configuration all right let's create our hello service okay hello service hello service okay this is simple i'm going to say return new hello service impl all right okay so since we have to declare this as a bean so next thing is what i'm going to do is i i really don't want this okay condition on okay i really don't want this hello service to be available all the time i only want this hello service uh, the default hello service to be available only when there is no custom implementation of the hello service right there is no custom bean for that one so what i am going to do is i am going to add a condition which says condition on missing bean okay missing bean so that means if the bean hello service bean is missing that's the only time when the spring boot is going to create this default hello service uh, bean all right so we are done with creating our custom uh, auto configuration class we are also created to our hello service class the next part is we need to define or we need to give an indication to the spring boot what is our hello service auto configuration class right so in order to do that okay spring has a predefined mechanism so the spring looks for a file or the property file which is called as a spring.factories under the resource folder and under the meta and folder so okay so since we do not have any uh, property file we are going to create one property file okay and the name is predefined this is a spring.factories okay if you are if you are already familiar with the spring uh, core they have this uh, mechanism already available from i think spring 4 or, or, or i think 4.x so i have defined spring.factories now in the spring.factories i have to define i have to indicate spring what is my auto configuration class so there is a predefined key uh, available uh, from the spring um, uh, from the spring boot and that is a enable auto configuration all right so what i'm going to do is i will be you this is the key org to spring framework boot auto configuration enable and then i'm going to indicate to spring boot what is my auto configuration class so in that case in this case this is my auto configuration class all right so i have defined that one so practically i am almost ready to use my application uh, i can use this custom starter on any of the applications all right so let's in order to use this one what i'm going to do is i will be creating uh, one another uh, spring boot application and 
in that case i'm going to use this uh, spring boot uh, starter or custom boot starter in that application and we'll see how it goes all right so what i'm what i'm going to do, do is i will say mbn clean all okay sorry what happened all right i know what is happening i have removed the test dependency and the test is not available okay sorry for that so by the time this compiles what i'm going to do is i am also going to java to journal and i'm saying spring okay custom app all right i am going to download that project i will go to the download folder and this is my custom app okay i'm going to unarchive it i will add this okay let's go to the download okay and here we go all right so i have both the i have the custom starter as well as the the new application with me so as first step of using this one what i'm going to do is i will open the pom.xml file of my custom starter and as in dependency i'm going to add our uh, custom starter as in dependency all right so the uh, the group id is this one right okay and what is the artifact id is our hello spring Boot application okay the artifact id is this one and let's just for the completeness let's add the version as well okay is the thing. all right okay so let's close this one right okay so let's see what we have right now I'm just okay what I want to show you is All right. Okay. So it's the time to see our custom starter in action. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, in order to uh, run this application, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to do any kind of web application. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to implement. A command line or the command line runner uh, okay and I'm going to implement the run method of this one all right okay and then let's use our hello service hello service okay and I'm going to auto buy this hello service okay and inside our run method I'm going to say say hello all right let's run our application okay so you see hello from the default starter hello service right so that was the that was this class which is a part of our hello service uh, custom starter right okay so what happens right right now since spring uh, was not able spring boot was not able to find any custom win so it basically created the default hello service for us and it's basically provided that hello service for us and this is the main or the underlying concept of the spring boot uh, theme it creates a number of default uh, default beings or the configuration for you based upon what all uh, things you have in your class path and then it allows you to override each and everything based upon your custom implementations. So to see that in action, what let's do a simple work. Okay. What I'm going to do is 
I'm going to create a custom hello surface okay all right and I'm going to implement hello service interface and I have to implement the method all right okay so let's put simple sys out saying okay hello from from custom application okay and in my custom application what I'm going to do is public hello service hello service and I'm going to use our custom hello service on this one okay and I'm going to define this as a B let's run our application again and see what is the output okay hello from the custom application right so the the moment we define our custom hello service the default hello service is no longer available into the uh, or the custom default service is not available from the spring so spring boot is allowing us to override any of the default configuration right so that's that was a simple ex uh, example where we created a custom uh, starter using a spring boot in the next video i'm going to cover a custom auto configuration it will be a complex example where we will be creating two separate module one is the uh, custom configuration uh, or the con uh, custom config uh, configuration module which have all the custom configurations uh, the default uh, classes default implementation uh, the default uh, values as well as uh, our uh, the auto configuration class and there will be another module which will be a custom starter which is going to contain only the the pom.xml which is responsible to pull all the required dependencies and club them together right i hope you like this video uh, stay tuned for the more thanks